Hello and welcome to Elite Dangerous with Brian GB. Today we are going to take a look at the beta of um, Horizons, which came out um, yesterday, almost two days ago actually. And um, yeah, well, I haven't been able to try it until now because of some little problems I had uh, with the setup and I couldn't log in, but well, problems are solved, I'm finally in and I'm going to try to land somewhere and drive around in an SRV uh, which I guess is going to be fun because I have no idea how to do it but yeah, yeah we'll find out um, of course before doing it so um, I have fit my ship to be able to approach a planet to land on a planet and to deploy an SRV how do you do that? well you go to the app uh, to the outfitting screen you make sure that you have purchased a planetary approach suit uh, which gives you the instrumentals uh, needed to do planetary approaches so altimeters um, all that kind of stuff then you have to get a planetary vehicle hangar which is a um, size 2 uh, fitting uh, I have here in a size 3 internal because well really I, do, I, I don't have this ship which is an ASP Scout it's one of the new ones which are coming out in 1.5 and um, horizons um, I haven't fit it properly because um, there are no parts in, in this starport to do so so well I just fit some different power plants some seed generator whatever but the important stuff is this one a planetary vehicle hangar so this is a fitting you are going to see uh, is module, module type yeah so as you can see here there are two different ones with a size 2 one is a G class and another one the um, G rating of course the G rating is uh, more expensive the H um, is cheaper but is uh, it weighs more requires somewhat less power for what it seems I don't really know the difference between these both other than the price, honestly but probably we will be able to figure out uh, why they are different in the future in the meantime the important thing is you need one of these because for that is the only way you are going to mount one of these uh, SRV Scarab which is the uh, surface roving vehicle or the rover it's well, you'll see it, what it is. It's an all-terrain uh, vehicle, uh, which I'm a little bit nervous about trying because I, I don't have a clue how I'm going to do it. I have a setup, a very strange control setup. I don't know if it's going to work well for me, but we'll try. We'll try. Anyway, yeah, yeah, it's, it's too much talking, little action, so let's get going. I don't even know where I'm going to go. I mean, I'm just going to get out of this station. Whatever is the nearest planet I can land on, I will do so. Uh, for what I've seen in the navigation console, we have um, a planet yeah, on top of, uh, of here, which has a station or a land base, rather. So we can land there. So we'll try to do so. So, oops. Okay, I have the. Um, the throttle not in zero one of course you pay for that okay where's that planet let me check so that way oh there it is mm, nice close to the sun as well so I guess we are going to get very nice looks of the surface under the sun let's approach it now of course I have seen several videos of the um, uh, previews and sneak peeks that the uh, developers have been releasing lately so I have already seen this in action um, don't mind the messages uh, I don't have the power setup uh, well fit because again the, there was not a big power plant enough for what I wanted on this ship but whatever it flies and that's what what's important okay so where are I guess we are going to land in that crater, just over there. Oh, there we go, we have an altimeter. Okay, yeah, so I have seen um, 
some of the sne sneak peeks, well, all of the sneak peeks in peak videos. Uh, so I more or less know what to expect. But one thing is to see it in a video and another one is to do it yourself. So let's aim for the middle of that crater. Okay, we are dropping altitude. As you can see on the right side of the um, hood. And sooner or later we are going to come down to what is called gliding altitude. Wow, this is so cool. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, there we go. So, in this stage we remain at a fixed 2500 meters per second until we drop down to a low enough altitude where we will be able to control our power right now we can't okay dropping into the crater dropping in glide complete so now we should have yeah we do power over our thrusters okay well very close to where we were going Okay, let's see how this thing lands. Okay, there we have our shadow. Okay, let's guide this thing in. Let's turn a little bit around to stay close to the mountain. Oh boy, <laughs> there we go. 400 meters, 300 meters, 200 meters. Uh, terrain seems to be a little bit uneven around here. Okay, let's ease it a little bit. Drop the speed. All right, now we should be more or less at the correct altitude. Okay, where can we land? This is a little bit uneven. I don't know if we can land here. Oh, let's try it. Let's go down, slow down, vertical thrusters, drop here. Okay, so unsightable terrain. Why? Yeah, I'm guessing we are on a slope. Okay, let's over there. It seems it's okay. Suitable terrain, slow down, suitable terrain. Okay, here we can land. Alright. Drop down, drop down, on suitable terrain again. Drop down, drop down, drop down. We are a little bit rolled. We have some markers. Yeah, we actually. And a pizza marker. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. See those arrows there? They tell you how to align your ship. Okay, that's nice. No, no, the other way. There. Up a little bit, up a little bit. Align them, align them. Okay. Hey, why? Oh, okay, I think we are drifting a little bit. Is there wind here? No, there's no atmosphere. Align okay. Align okay. Um... Why can't I land? Okay, seems we are a little bit tilted. Probably that's why. Okay, let's try somewhere else. A little forward. Let's try a little bit. Yeah, but that's. Mm, I don't know. I want to land here. Okay, alignment okay. Little bit of pitch up. It's down. Uh, I think we have a spot just under us, but somehow we are drifting a little bit. There we go, pits up. Uh, no, again. This is more complicated than what it is. No, there you go. Alright, so the trick is once you are on the land, you have to keep on pushing the down thruster. I wasn't doing that. Okay, so here we are. Oh boy, finally, at the surface of a planet. 
let's take a look at our zip oh that's a nice that's a pretty nice image okay it's a bit right there I'm going to make a screenshot of this there for the Facebook page and um, I don't know what's going on with the shadow okay from this angle seems okay ish uh, well maybe some glitching no worries it's a beta so it's to be expected okay so we're in at the surface of a planet oh I've been waiting for this so much and look at that just besides a mountain of course I don't think there's anything around here because I have picked nothing in the in the scanner but hey we are here uh, okay deploy I guess seems so oh boy <laughs> Okay, let's go. Slow, slow. And... Yeah, we are out. Okay, let's take a look at our... Look at it. Let's come close to it. Take a close look to our ASP. Again, this is a new ship. This is the small version of the ASP Explorer. Well, it's not exactly what I would call small, is it? Okay, let's have some fun. First thing I want to try. <laughs> Retro thrusters! Oh shit! Oh, 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 oh! Okay, that wasn't easy to control. Yeah, you have retro thrusters in your... in your scarab. There we go again! Oh, keep it, keep it! Wow, this thing is unstable, man. Uh oh yeah wow I, I think that didn't do a lot of things for our uh, hull we are down six <laughs> percent but that was fun <laughs> okay let's keep on going uh, okay let's be careful here it's uh don't watch the slope And we go again. Okay, I'm going to slow down. This is a little bit insane. This is it's too bumpy. <laughs> okay, so this is cool. Oh man, can I claim that? No, I don't think we can claim claim that. Wow, man, look at that. We are rolling and flying. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yippa! There we go. This is fun. <laughs> oh, there we go again. We are fly. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, fo -fo -fo. okay, 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 okay. I'm going to slow the. Oh man! Oh man! This is going to end badly. Ow! Okay, so stop, stop, stop. Holy shit, <laughs> that was difficult. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> down to 80% hull. Yeah, I'm guessing this thing didn't like those bounces. By the way, let's take a look at it. Okay, let's stop it completely. Yeah, there we go. And take a look outside. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Okay, look at it. Isn't it cute? <laughs> it's a tiny, tiny rover with the shadows still not properly modeled, for what I see. One of the interesting things is um, if you if you look there well, and if I don't go go under the terrain, um, you can see those blue things on the on the on the wheels. Those are actually thrusters. Because in very low G planets, this is what I have read in the forums at least, um, this thing is so light that you can go flying and 
basically never land again because you take off and that's it the gravity is so low um, so in low gravity planets those thrusters actually keep your rover glued to the ground and look at that we have a turret by the way haven't can we yeah we can fire it and there's a um, turret as well Oh, this is so damn cool. Let's let's do something. Just for the sake of it. Oh, it has ammo. So it's not a laser, it's projectile. Yeah, it's projectile. I'm guessing this is going to be complicated to aim with, especially if you're driving. Um, can this thing be driven by two players? Because I know multi-crew is in the in the things that are going to come for Elite Dangerous. So would be really cool to have someone driving and someone up here shooting. Oh man, this is so damn cool. Wow. Okay, let's let's go back to drive. Uh, I think I am actually going to go back to the um the where is my my spaceship? Oh crap! Oh nice, we have a compass over our hood. Look at that, 326. That means we are going northwest right now. But I don't have a clue where we came from. Also, I have assist off. Can we? Yeah, you can assist on. How is assist on? Let me check that. I don't see many differences. Well, yeah, probably is. L let's try it with the retro thrusters. Oh, yeah, it's much, much. Oh, well, yeah, it's easier, but even then I almost crashed. Uh, man, the, the, the flying thing is not that easy, trust me. Let's go again. I don't know how much. If you have fuel for the thrusters, I don't have a clue. I, I should find out. But in the meantime, let's play. How the hell? Okay, we, we, we have a problem here. Okay. Uh, did I? I didn't climb any slope, did I? No, 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 I didn't. Okay, l l let's go back. Okay, w where the hell are we? <laughs> oh shit, my first time landing and I lose. I get lost. Um, okay, what I'm going to do is to drive around and see if I can find my ship. Because if we don't, what the hell I'm going to do? I don't know. Okay, um, be right back, guys. Okay, so we are back and we have found no trace of the ship at all. Which is a problem. Um, but I found something very, very interesting, which I'm going to show you right now. And I think it's going to bail out of our trouble this recall ship so I'm going to try this out I haven't yet cancel recall no I'm not going to cancel it so it's 10 seconds uh, I think this should call the ship automatically which will fly here and land Is it? Where it is? It's, it's in my scanner at least. Ooh, okay, there, there it is. A little drifting there. Uh, another thing, you really need to drive this thing under 50% thrust or you are going to have a lot of trouble driving. Okay, is there? Yeah, yeah it is. Fine. So yeah, well, that kind of solved our trouble, thankfully. Ooh, okay. Let's use thrusters and land, more or less okay. So you can see I'm down to 71%. I have the, done a couple of little rolls while <laughs> driving around. It's not easy to drive this thing. Trust me. I mean, at least not at full, at full throttle. If you keep it at 50% or so, it's, it's really okay. But if you try to go full throttle, 
at least on an event terrain, I don't have a clue on how it goes on flat surfaces, but... Okay. <laughs> this is so freaking cool, man. And think of this, okay? So, I driving around here, and this is massive. Remember how tiny that crater looked when, when we were coming in? And I'm realizing that... Hold on a second, I'm going to stop. That mountain there, okay? That was the central little bolt in that little crater. And we are in, in, in that crater. Which was so freaking small. This thing is huge! This is a real scale planet. This is oh wow. The the scale of this thing is brutal. But the best thing is, uh, I mean, this is one planet, okay? One just uh, I just landed in the first thing I have close in. But all the planets in the in the in the galaxy right now, any planet that has no atmosphere, you can land on it. That's <laughs> and all of them are big, like massive, freaking big. Oh. Uh, this this is going to kill my social life. Oh my gosh. Okay, we are close to the ship. I, I've seen this in a, a sneak peek video. I think that what I have to do now is slow down. Well, obviously, because I'm not going to come at full throw. Uh, where I'm going backwards? Oh. Should be going forwards. Okay, like, t like so. Seems that for some reason the motor is disengaged and I started going downhill. Okay, now very slowly align yourself in here and bump yourself against. Oh, okay, we have a problem. Hmm. Okay, I know how we are going to solve this. Hold on a second, be right back. Okay, so we are back. Okay, the idea is if we have problems entering because that was very uneven terrain, the ship could land, but we couldn't get in. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to go down there, which seems much more even, like really flat. Right now we are in a slope. The scanner actually shows, if you look at the scanner, it shows the, the slope of where you are at. That's amazing. That's super smart design. So at any moment, you know, if you are in a slope, in even ground and even ground because it's it's really I'm finding myself a little bit lost here at times I, I I don't really know you you need to pick a point of of reference and go there because otherwise you get lost in no time so it's really nice because it's very hard to know if you are tilted backwards or or or, or towards the front if you are in a slope or not so the scanner really helps you out with that a lot so. Yeah, we are we are arriving to the valley down there. And man, really, this this is super fun to do. Uh, I'm I'm just derping around and not doing a lot of stuff. But okay, it seems that the slopes are becoming more and more and more even. But I think we can even get a better place. Every time. Every time again. Ooh, okay, that wasn't as gracious. Okay, let's drift a bit and keep on going. All right. I mean, I don't know if this is exciting to watch, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's just me driving around in a barren planet. But uh, I don't know if it's entertaining to watch, but this is a hell of a fun thing to do. Okay, I think I'm going to start trying here. Okay, uh, that wasn't the best landing in my life. Uh, are we? Yeah, it's kind of so. It seems to be quite an even place. Okay, let's kill the engine. 30 seconds. Okay, and see how much it takes for it to come. Well, 30 seconds. See where we land and if we can get in because that was a problem. 
just was perfectly landed, but it has had a little bolt bump of terrain behind the the hats, and we couldn't get in. Okay, how much is one? Okay, there we go. And then, oh, there he is. He's landing there. Okay, let's go. It's almost one kilometer away. But this is a little bit more even than where we were driving before, so going at a little faster is not such big of a problem. It is a problem because there are a lot of bumps. And if you are going, to, uh, going at full speed, any bump will well, send you flying. And trust me, this thing is hard to control in the air. Like so. <laughs> there we go. Okay, here we are. Okay, let's slow down. No, slow down, no, not going backwards. You can see the scanner. Actually, it's, it's kind of a radar. It's picking the signal of the ship. That's cool. Oh, this this is so damn great. Okay. We should be able to get now. Slow down, little by little. Kill the engine. Okay, can we? Yeah, worship. And on board we go. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Hold political thrust to launch. Okay, we'll do. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, the where do we go now? Um um, let's go and check these new bases. Let's land there. Yeah, that would be a good finish for this video. Of course, I'm going to show more of this uh, to you guys in more videos. Uh, since we have a problem, is it with the orientations? Since yeah, we are exactly at the opposite side of the world. Of this world from the base, yeah. Bounce works. It's how many? Okay, so we have to do the full circle. Um, I think that's going to take a while at 200 meters per second. Okay, let's go to space. <laughs> we'll do it the short way. Well, not the short way actually, but the fast way. Oh man. This is glorious. <laughs> you can't see my face right now, but I have a green which is goes from ear to ear. You can't... Oh well. I mean, if you like this game, probably you have exactly the same smile as me, so... Okay, mass locked, is gone. Um, let's steal this a little bit up, I don't want to smash again against the mountain. And with escape, back. Oh, so we have to go vertical, okay. Fine. But once we are there, we don't have to keep on going vertical, do we? Because I want to skim the surface of this thing.
Oh, we can. <laughs> oh, yes, this is great. Yeah, really, I'm, I'm kind of speechless right now uh, because I'm drooling a little bit. Okay, le let's go, let's go up. Let's go the long but fast way. So we are heading directly to the north. I got 30 kilometers, 40 kilometers, 50 kilometers. Let's speed down. Oh, let's go this way. Skimming the surface. How far it is? No, that's not. 3.5 kilometers. Oh, mega kilometers actually. Or mega meters. Well, it's a long way. But if we do it this way, it's going to be a hell of a ride. Look at this. Okay, should be up there. Okay, we are going into the night side of the planet. So we're going to make things interesting, I guess. Oh, look at the stars. Oh, yes. This game <laughs> is going to ruin my life. Oh, I have a life away from my computer. Damn you, Frontier. Why did you do, do why do you do this to me? Okay, let's go in. 90 kilometers, 70 kilometers, slowing down, dropping, I guess, glide? No, it's no gliding. Weird. Hmm. I would expect that we should have had to glide a little bit. Well, it's a couple of minutes away. It's not very far. So, well, what's you guys when we are closing? Okay, so we are coming close. Seven point kilometers. We're talking. We are having given seven. Not sure which of both it is. Seems it's the one on the right. Yeah, it is. Seven there. Okay. Let's go then. Let's do a flyby. Sonar panels. That seems kind of a control tower of some sort. Let's go in, nice and easy. And land it. Wow, that's kind of a glorious look, frankly. Look at the Milky Way. Wow. Okay, so we're here. Now we could do a drive around with the Scara, but I think I'm going to leave it for another video. Um, anyway, guys, uh, this <laughs> this is so fun. I mean, I, I've done nothing at all. I, I just landed and got lost and <laughs> then tried to get back to the ship. And then I had to call it because I couldn't find it. And Oh, man, this was so damn fun. Uh, I think, uh, again, this, this, this game is going to take a hell of a lot of my time <laughs> in the near future. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching and <laughs> see you later.